Welcome to another edition of Pray As You Go, a short prayer session of 10 minutes or so where we sincerely believe that your expectations are turned into manifestations to the glory of God. So this is episode 121 of Pray As You Go. This um, session is titled, I Have Permanent Blessings. I Have Permanent Blessings. Run through the scriptures real quick, and the first is Revelations 21, verse 6, the A part of it. Revelations 21, per, per, um, 6, and that's the NIV version. He said to me, It is done. I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. It is done. I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and and the end next um scripture is um from the book of ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 14 ecclesiastes chapter 3 as and verse 14 we take the nkjv version and it says that i know that whatever god does it shall be forever Nothing can be added to it and nothing taken from it. God does it so men shall fear before him. Some version says that I know that whatever God does is permanent. Whatever God does is permanent. And finally, we look at 1 Chronicles chapter 17, verse 27b, the amplified version chapter 17 verse 27b it says for what you bless O lord is blessed forever for what you bless O lord is blessed forever so because we know that our god is the beginning and the end and the in between we have to start by thanking god because he has the final say There's a portion in scriptures and lamentations that says that who can say this and bring it to pass when the God, when Lord has not said that. And God himself speaking in that um, initial scripture in Revelations 21, 6 says it is done. Why is it done? Because I am the alpha and the omega. I am the beginning and the end. The one who cannot be questioned. The one whose decision cannot be appealed again. He has the final say. So we're going to say, Lord, I thank you because you have the final say over the affairs of my life, of my children, of my finances, my family, my health. You, Lord, has the final say. Because of this, I thank you. Thank you because my Father in heaven, you have the final say. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. In Jesus' name, we're going to pray again and thank the Lord from the bottom of our heart that because we are his workmanship. The Bible says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. It doesn't matter what the devil is afflicting or attacking in your body, your finances. He, we are his workmanship. We are the one that he, he has created according to his image. So we're, we're, we're going to say, Lord, I th- we thank you. Thank you because I am your workmanship. My children are your workmanship. Thank you because we are the works of your hand and the Bible says that you will perfect that which concerns us. Thank you, Lord, because you are the perfecter of our faith. Thank you because we are are, are your handiwork. Thank you, Lord, because you are the potter, we are the clay. And you have created treasures in this in this earthen place that the excellency might be of you and not of, of man. Therefore, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, because we are your creations. Thank you, Jesus, in Jesus' name. We're going to now pray and ask the Lord for mercy, that Lord, where I have sought to add to what you have done for me, where I have sought to dilute your grace and your, your, your authority in my life, where I have thought to take the reins of my life away from you, Lord, have mercy upon me. Lord, have mercy upon me. Some of us think that um, 
we, we are, arrive at decisions through logic or that it is the, simply the work of, of doctors that heal us. It is the Lord that orchestrates all this. Therefore, where we have sought to take the reins of our life away from God, where we have thought we know how to do it better, say, Lord, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Where I have thought to add to what you have done for me, where I have thought to take the glory away from you, where I have thought to dilute your authority in my life, Lord, have mercy in Jesus' name. And the fourth point, we're going to pray and ask the Lord, just say, my Father, my God, you are the Alpha, the Omega. My life cries out for your touch. Touch my life and bless me. Touch my life and bless me. Because you're my beginning and you're the end. Thank you, Jesus. We're saying, Lord, touch my life today. My Father, my God, bless me. My Father, my God, touch me. My Father, my God, you know the end from the beginning. Father, Lord, touch me and bless me. Redeem my life, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Fifthly, you're going to pray and say every power trying to overturn God's blessings in my life. You hear the word of the Lord. God has blessed me and it will last forever in the name of Jesus. Every power trying to overturn God's blessings in my life. Hear the word of the Lord. God has blessed me and it will last forever. God has blessed my children. It will last forever. God has blessed my career. He has blessed the work of my hands. It will last forever in the name of Jesus. We're going to pray again and say that every fluctuating blessing, every rising and falling in my life, I decree that you will not fluctuate anymore. You are permanent and you cannot be overturned. Every blessing in my life that is fluctuating or rising and falling, no longer shall you rise and fall. I decree your permanent and you cannot be overturned in the name of Jesus. I decree every blessing in my life is permanent, cannot be overturned, cannot be overturned, cannot be overturned in Jesus name. Finally, you're going to now go specifically to God and say, Lord, bless me permanently. You know the areas where you want God to bless you. So you're going to go one-on-one -on -one with God, spend a few minutes on there and say, God, I come to you today, the Alpha and the Omega, the also and the finisher of my faith bless me permanently in the following areas lord bless me in my finances lord bless me bless my children lord bless their career and their marital life lord bless their, my handiwork bless my marriage bless my ministry bless me O oh lord bless me O oh lord bless me O oh lord in my body in my soul my spirit bless my ministry bless the works of my hand oh lord bless me begin to put in certain there the areas where you want god to bless bless you. That Father Lord, bless me. Bless me, the fruit of my womb. Bless my womb, O oh Lord, to bear fruit. Begins to bless me. Bless me, Lord. Bless my health, O oh Lord, to, to flourish. Bless me in the, permanently. Bless me permanently. In Jesus' name we pray. And so, Father and our Lord, I join my faith with your, your children that have um, prayed along with me today. I pray, O oh Lord, that that which you have done positively is permanent in our lives in Jesus' name. And if peradventure any avenger of the of, of any spirit of avenger arises and decides that they want to overturn your blessings in our lives, according to Isaiah 7 7, I say it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. That which God says is final in my life. When God says yes, no man can say no. In our lives, O oh Lord, in the life of your people, Father, let your blessings be permanent and permanently seen in the name of Jesus. Let there be a permanent, tangible evidence in in the name of Jesus, because according to that first Chronicles 17, 27, what you bless is blessed forever. Father, we confess, we decree, we believe, we declare that we are blessed forever in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father and our Lord. In Jesus name, we have prayed. Thank you so much for praying along on this episode of um, Pray As You Go, Our Permanent Blessings. I pray that your blessings will remain permanent in Jesus' name. As many of you as are 
trusting God for a, a blessing or the other, as many of you that are trusting God to overturn a curse in your life, we I pray with you and I agree with you that by this time next week, when I come your way again, your curses shall become blessings. Your tests will become testimonies to the glory of God. Whatever God has done is permanent in your life. You are blessed and you are blessed forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Shalom.